Hey guys, so I hit up Hobby Lobby again, <laughs> and I wasn't expecting to get this much, but I got a lot, so I'm gonna show it to you really quick. If you haven't already seen, our Christmas morning video is up. I tried to edit it really fun with music and stuff, so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you haven't seen it already, go check it out after this. Not Christmas Eve, Christmas morning. I don't know what I just said. Anyways, <laughs> this is gonna be a live upload from my phone. So Jackson's been wanting this all season because we go to Hobby Lobby a lot. That and there's a bird, and it's from a nativity movie, um, and I haven't actually seen the movie. I couldn't even find like a book version of the movie, but anyways, I'm gonna turn it on. The dogs are gonna go crazy, so I'm probably gonna shut it right off, but it sings and it walks. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do, because the dogs are crazy, <laughs> but it walks in a circle and it's really cute, and it's usually 40, and it was down to five bucks. So I got a few of these plaster castings, um, I have another one, too, that I got on clearance. So I'm going to do Jackson's handprint this year and the dogs. We don't do the salt dough thing. If you don't have pets, like, salt dough is great. But Ralph is a mess and he eats everything. And if he ate it, it would kill him because of all the salt. They're really dangerous to have with pets. So this is a foam one we did last year of Jackson's hand. So I'm going to do their hands again this year. But in this plaster casting, I'm going to do the dog's paws. <laughs> Hopefully it goes well with the puppy's paws. But I wanted to get their paw prints in plaster too. So I got that. And let's see. Um, I got this. I was going to make put it in his gift bag, but I can only find one. So I ended up deciding we'll do it during um, just art for a uh, Christmas curriculum next year. You just dip water in these and you paint the page. I think he'll have fun with that next year. And I got this as an artwork for curriculum next year too. All right. Okay, so what to next? <laughs> All right, I got these books. I liked um, this Christian-based book for Jackson. I got one for him. And I tried to find one for... Um, Nolan, my newest nephew, and Liam, but they only had one. But I just thought it was so sweet, the little story. So I got that to add to his library for Christmas. I did get this for Nolan's um, Christmas Eve bag for next year. He's going to be, gosh, how old is he going to be? Seven or eight months. Um, I think he's going to be eight, eight months probably. Um, and then Jackson doesn't have this Bernstein Spares book. So I got it to add to his Christmas collection of books. I got this magnet set of the, nat the Nativity. Um, I got it for curriculum next, next year. And he has a whiteboard now that's magnetic. So I thought this would be a great nativity for him for next year. I was going to buy the little people one. If it goes on like some really great sale, I saw they had the one on target down to 20, but it doesn't make any noise. <laughs> and so I was like, uh, I'm going to wait and buy the one that makes noise, but most likely we'll probably just use this nativity next year unless I find a sale on the little people one. But I thought it'd be fun because he can really, you know, hands-on play with this on his whiteboard. Um, <clears throat> ugh, my throat. Okay, I hope I'm not getting sick. I got five adult coloring books, but they're really for the older kids for their Christmas bags for next year. And I got five instead of the four, four for the four older kids because I went ahead and got one since it's an adult one. My niece is going to be 17 next year, and I know she thinks she's cool, but I think she'll actually like it. Um, so, let's see. This is a Bible sticker and activity book, The Birth of Jesus. I got this for curriculum for next year. So, I thought that was super fun to find those kind of things. Oh, my gosh. This book. This is such a nice book. Um, and it's three stories in one. And since Jackson has a lot of baby Christmas books, I figured down the line when he starts re like reading, you know, this would be good to add to his Christmas collection. I like to buy stuff that's a little bit still his age range book wise. And then I like to buy stuff that he'll grow into um, for curriculum books. Okay, let's see. One bag down. Um, <clears throat> oh, hey. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put this next year, but I kind of have an obsession with Santa Claus. Ah, if y'all couldn't tell, you don't say. Um, <laughs> but I don't know where I'm going to put this next year. But I love Santa Claus, like, 
pictures and all that stuff. And I honestly think my red and white tree I'm going to do in my bedroom will eventually all be Santa Claus ornaments. I thought that would be cool. I just love Santa. <laughs> and we already have one Santa photo, not like this, but similar. It's his face. And so I've got to find a place for this because I love it. And then I have one that hangs next to Jackson's tree every year. So I was super excited about that. That was like a dollar with the sale. <clears throat> Let's see. Stuff in here. Oh, these. These are super fun. Okay. Ah! So I got this for Jackson. It's a Santa key. And if you don't know about this, so if you don't have a chimney, since we don't have a chimney for you to climb through, we've left a magic key for you to open. I'm trying to read it through the key. We've left this magic key to open our door for you. So I got one since we don't have a chimney <laughs> for Santa for next year. And I got one for my friend that I got the snow the like footstep duster thing. Um, I got one for her too because she's super into Christmas and she's like me and she goes like over the top and does fun things for her son. So I thought she needed a Santa key too because she doesn't have a um, chimney either. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's see. I really needed this this year for his ATV. But when I saw they were eight bucks, I was like, no, I I'll wait till Christmas. So I figured those big waffle blocks we got him that I still haven't put up over there, I gotta do that tonight. Um, this bow would be perfect. So I bought that. And then I bought a couple bags of bows that had a little bit bigger bows. I have a ton of bows in my gift wrap station, but a lot of them are very small bows. And so I just got a couple packs of bigger bows for next year. And then I got this tool, I got two packs, just in case I wanna put it on the tree in our bedroom. I don't know how the tree in our bedroom is gonna turn out because it'll be my first year putting it up next year. So I got stuff to kind of play with it, see what I like and what looks best. And by the way, if you didn't read my description in the last video I did like this, our teal bedroom will be a different color next year. It'll be kind of a, not it, like beige, but khaki, but not super dark. Um, It'll be really a nice color, but because we're getting the house ready, just in case we find some huge lot and we decide to move sooner, we're trying to get the house ready to sell. And a lot of people would probably be like, oh my God, when they walked into a teal bedroom. So after eight years, I'm going to be saying goodbye to my teal bedroom um, after the holidays. We're having a painter come do it. So this is just some more wrapping paper I bought. And I bought this because by itself, if I run out of birthday wrapping paper or valentine's day whatever it would be good to use i like finding a versatile wrapping paper like that so that's my little video i hope you guys enjoyed it i won't be any i won't be shopping anymore for after christmas because um tomorrow we are putting everything away um for next year and packing it all up so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye